like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe, and join the membership for exclusive content in the description. Hey, hey baby. Hey. Got you something to eat. Oh, I'm not hungry. <laughs> Coffee is not a meal replacement. Eat you something. Hmm. Hello, gentlemen, submissive wives, future submissive wives, and estrogens. Angry about estrogens being submissive wives. All right, so you see the title. The title is something along the lines of estrogens being told what to do and spanked and why it turns them on or something like that. That's the title of this video, okay? So I, if you um, are a extreme supporter and you watch all the videos on this channel, you've seen me put this in another video, um, probably. So, but I'm going to use this again because this is just so the problem and it's just so disgusting. Um, this whole thinking that, see, men are just such good people that we try to make people happy and live by the golden rule, treat others how you want to be treated. And just men do not understand estrogens do not think like that innately. You have to teach them to think like that. So you never joke around with power with estrogens where they feel like they're better than you or they have more of a say or they're smarter than you. No, no, no. She should never, you should never walk around like I'm so lucky she's, <laughs> I'm so lucky she's with me. Like you should never, ever, 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 ever walk around thinking like that. She needs to know she's lucky being with you. When the relationship is she's chasing you, that's when relationships work because men don't abuse power estrogens abuse power 24 7 we've been posting recently about living with estrogens estrogens love love it gets them off them thinking they are the reason a man can survive or have a place to stay oh it, it gets them off so see and it's wicked and it's evil but men are men are not like that so we don't expect estrogens to be like that Men living with other men, we're never doing evilness like that. But see, estrogens love going, without me, then you wouldn't be, 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 without me, without me, without me. See, men will help people and never say a peep about it because we're not, just because we disagree on something doesn't mean you couldn't have figured something else out on your own or with someone else and things like that. We're not trying to throw in your face whatever, you know, that they have that you have done for someone because we're not doing it for recognition that we've done it but see estrogens always want recognition because them being a good person is an extremely difficult task for them you don't put yourself in power positions where they're over you power wise they have to feel like you are the head you are the leader you have the power in the situation then it works but they can't wait until a man moves in with them so they can go all right when i'm mad then i'll be like what's well, mine right men don't move like that we go okay what's the correct thing we have a disagreement but what's the correct thing let's look it up let's compare thoughts with others let's do that estrogens do not operate like that at all they just go well it's mine so i don't have to make sense <laughs> right so men are like what so you don't know they think like that and now you're in a difficult situation so you never joke with them about power like they lead or they're the reason for things and they're they you know you need them for survival never put yourself in that type of situation they are not supposed to have power over a man, which is why they get so excited when they have power over a man. So I just want to play this back again before we get into the, you know, the other parts of this video of how this estrogen is probably cheating on him, to be honest, and she does not fully respect him as a man. And he thinks that he can't get estrogens that look like her, and she's not all of that, but, but I give credit what's credit is due. She's like a seven. If she really, really got dolled up, she'd probably, and wore her hair a little longer, she'd probably be like an eight-ish, high eight-ish. Um, but it's a confidence thing with men. What's attractive in, in men to estrogens is dominance, attractiveness, the like don't care attitude. Um, and the, you know, and that's pretty much what it is, you know, especially if you're in decent shape as well too. But when you look insecure, then that brings your attractive level to them all the way down. Like if you look at estrogens, like, you know, you're better than them, they get turned on. <laughs> like when you look at them like with this like yeah i know i'm the stuff type of look and yeah i'm dominant and yeah i don't care what anyone says right that's when they're like "Ooh, who is that they love that so you gotta know that so let's get into this marriage is a relationship you see like all all of his energy is a, this is beta male this is if she wanted to peg him in the bum he'd probably do it like all of the it's it's the attitude thing it's that it's it's all in the attitude, right? Like Mary, you, you, you. <laughs> Mary, 
Mary, you, you, you know, with two people, you know, he sounds emotional, you know, compared to, I'm the man, right? Marriage is how I'm saying it's going because I lead the family, especially if he's paying the bills, right? But see, he's emotional and feminine and, you know, she, you could just, t you can just tell from her energy, like she deals with him, but she doesn't truly respect him. And we're going to get to where an estrogen truly respects you because th this is, Again, if you're going to be a beta male and just a simp and you just go, estrogens are better than you, you know, I get, I get comments all the time, like, <laughs> my, my wife is, is, is better than me. And then all oh, look, look, all right, good, good. You're, you're a lesser of a man. Congratulations. Look, if it's working, whatever, man. But they are not as turned on by when you are a dominant man. That has always been their nature. Estrogens, if, if est there's, there's an estrogen watch this video. <laughs> we have way more estrogens watching the, watching the channel now. Estrogens know that this guy compared to this other guy we're about to show which type of mentality they prefer and which one would they, you know, seek in a man. Marriage is a relationship between. So even just looking at her like she's not happy to see him, you know, she's just like, hmm, what's going on here? Hmm? Two people. One is always right and the other is always the husband. Yes. I, I really despise when men even make jokes like this, like. As I said with this, when I use this clip in another video, estrogens are never joking with powered uh, conversations. They're, they're never joking. They're never playing at all. You never joke with them about power situations. Like Just like how they have like in cartoons where it's okay for the estrogens to like slap on the guy and things like that. Like They're not playing. See, but it's like, oh, men getting slapped. We're playing. They're not playing. They're like, yeah, see, I run the home. You ne they can never feel like they run a home. This is the face of, I'm not joking. Whatever I say does go. And then this is the face of, yeah, honey, okay, whatever you say goes, I so love you. This is just disgusting. I just don't know how men don't understand. We built civilizations. Like, like she is not, if he changed his confidence, he really could be swimming in a, in a bundle of bad bitches. <laughs> It's just his confidence is just what utterly destroys him because he just reeks of he doesn't feel like he's the crap and he's just so happy and estrogen would deal with him, right? And you can tell she she might be cheating on him. They do not like this type of stuff, man. So now, let's move on to this. All right. So now we're getting more into the to the masculinity. I just seen something where apparently if you say the opposite of the beta word, you know what I'm talking about, that they're like censoring that word. If that does not show you that they are completely trying to just make make men emasculate, so 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 estrogens run civilization because they know that if estrogens are never running civilization, truly, if estrogens are in charge of families, then governments can take advantage. That just tells you everything you need to know. That they don't want you saying that word because if you have a civilization of men that are the opposite of beta males, then you have a civilization of men that don't tolerate nonsense. Estrogens tolerate anything as long as you keep them alive. So, but let's get into this. All right. Oops. Let's rephrase. All right. Wife, come here. Yes, sir. Is the house. Yes, sir. This is how estrogens should be talking to their husbands, man. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, king. Yes, master. That's how they should be talking to you. These little things, man, are big things. The biggest things in life, in life, are the small things it's not the big things man because the small things are what you do every single day with her saying things like yes sir yes king yes lord yes daddy that shows respect that you that she has for you right that shows she cares about morals and honors and you know traditions and she understands her place that is so important for her just something as small as her saying yes sir Yes, king. Yes, master. Yes, lord. Saying things like that, it shows her respect level. And you will see when they say things like that, they're not disrespecting their man. Now, he, you know, he does a little bell call and things like that. I mean, you could do that if you want to get more on the kinky type of, um, or you just decide that's what you want to kind of do. But, you know, he does that as well, too. So, so he does that and then she comes. Wife, come here. Yes, sir comes with you and comes with a little pep in her step as she should you are the king of the home we pay the bills we pay the bills <laughs> okay we are doing the hardest thing in 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 life which is working right so she should be like yeah what do, what do you need sweetie what do you need king what do you need sir what do you need my lord what do you need those type of things to show her appreciation for what you do is the house absolutely spotless her role are the floor she goes it is Floors and cabinets clean 
They are. That's our roll. Floors and cabinets. Did you inspect the toilet really well? I did everything he's clean. I promise you. All right, so boom. Do you understand? And see, that's how it's supposed to be. She's supposed to clean. She's supposed to cook. She's supposed to respect her husband. She's supposed to make sure she's doing what her husband needs her to do for the family. That is her role. That is her position. Okay? That you gotta, you gotta, they have to put in work in relationships. If you leave it up to estrogens, they will put no work in. They will just try to gain and they'll say they're the prize because they're not supposed to have power. When men have power in the relationship, he makes sure everything that's done to keep a family, a civilization, a community alive is being done, and he's being happy, and in return, he makes sure everyone else is being happy. When the estrogens are happy, no one's happy. That's what happens when they're happy, a including themselves. They're not even happy because they're going, people just keep doing what I want. I need someone to just step up and just stop telling me, stop telling me no. That's what they need to do. And that's their nature. So you have to understand, you have to really... They have roles that they have to be doing, and they have to know if they're not doing it that you don't tolerate it and you will leave. And you also have to be in a situation where you, America is just too risky where they can, the laws are too corrupt, right? They're making a ban uh, TikTok law before they're making a ban or, or modify how divorce can be abused by wives, which tells you everything you need to know, okay? So make them have duties that they have to do. Have them call you certain type of names that show respect, and you'll see that the relationship will flourish. So let's move on to this. All right, so th th here, here we go. So now this is man that's not, is the opposite of that one guy who just goes, relationship is the man's always wrong, even though we built everything on earth, uh, and the wife is always right. Oh, I'm a beta, right? Now this is a man that's not putting up with the nonsense, and I want to I want to want you to see the difference in the attitude. First one when that guy was like that, that estrogen was just like, yeah, I do that, mm -hmm, yep. But she wasn't like, oh, I love him, like, ooh, right? She wasn't like that. But she was like, yep, mm -hmm, I run it. So now I want to show you this. So let's get into it. Hey, hey baby. Hey. Got you something to eat. Oh, I'm not hungry. Coffee is not a meal replacement. Eat you something. Okay, so we, we we all know estrogens with this whole food thing. What do you want to eat? I don't know. And then you go to a place. Well, I don't want to go here <laughs> because why? They should not be making decisions. Okay. So and then also the whole you know I'm not hungry. You know you, know, you just get them food anyway. You know and it would depend on what you want to do. But you know they just they're indecisive because they're the species that never build civilizations. So here we go. Estrogen nature. Okay. Now they're going to get a little bratty sometimes because they do it to test your manhood if you're going to tolerate it and how you're going to respond if you're just going to put her in her place it's just their nature to eventually try to do this type of thing you don't tolerate too much of it you let her know all right look you had enough of that you know but they're going to just do it every so often okay it's just their nature so this is what they do all right so they sit here he gets her food she goes i'm not hungry he goes coffee's not food you need to eat see they're kids man <laughs> right I said I'm not hungry. You're telling me to eat. So he's going, coffee's not food here. Here's food. You need to eat some food. Right? So she's going, all right, now I'm going to give him some attitude. Like, mm, why are you trying to tell me what to do? So now so now I'm going to try to test his masculinity if he's going to stand on business and stand on him being dominant and leading. I said I'm not hungry. I don't want to eat. Right? To see what you're going to do. All right. So man, stand in his masculine frame. Like, you're going to eat something. Hmm. So she's going, mm, telling me what to do. This is so bad. You're such a controlling man. Oh my goodness. Let me tell my friend. Well, she shouldn't be talking bad about you ever to her friends. And you should immediately leave. You give her one warning, maybe, on talking ill about you to. And you really just leave the B, B word. <laughs> okay. And that's the thing is she should talk ill towards you um, behind your back to other people. That really says a lot about your character. Number one, you're a coward, which is estrogen nature, to be honest. But. It shows your disloyalty talking ill about someone to other people. That's just, that tells a lot about you. So, you know, estrogen nature, like, you're telling me what to do, and I'm acting like I don't like it to test if you're going to stand firm and stay dominant and say, I got to do something. <laughs> All right, but see, but here we go, right? So now she's like, oh, I'm happy. <laughs> this, this is how they think because they are children. So, but now she's like... Like, because that was the whole crap test. And th this is what they do because they're just, this is what their species does. 
right? Mm, I don't want to do that. I said I don't want food. And he goes, you're going to eat this food. Coffee is not dinner, right? And he stand, she, he stood firm, and she tried to give him the attitude look to see if he's going to waver. And he didn't waver at all. And then she goes, oh, now I'm happy. That's, look, <coughs> I didn't make this creature. But, but th this is what they do. You have to stand firm with them. Okay, whether they like it or not. That first dude over here, like, the wife's always right. I'm always right. See, she's not making it. This is the face of she's getting it submissive in the bed. She's getting it submissive in real life. And he's not putting up with her nonsense. And he will check her. He doesn't care how pretty that she is. He, do he doesn't care. Because his masculinity is before however pretty she thinks she is. And that's when they're turned on. That's when they're deeply an estrogen version of love. Okay? That's how that works. Now let's move on to this. Um, so you know, estrogen, you know, she gotta know her place <laughs> and under look, and she's gonna be talking about us uh, getting spanked. Whenever they talk about getting disciplined by a man, th this is their face: happiness, pure joy. Right, so let's let's get into let's get into this. Talking today a little bit about domestic discipline and spanking. Look at her and spanking, yay! Now, some people like spanking simply for the sensation of the spanking. It, it gives sensation to the surface of the skin. Depending on how you spank, it can give sensation to the muscle within, and it can also send uh, reverberations and. Uh, sensation all through the entire groin area. So mm -hmm. some people like it just for that. And if they'd like it enough, then it can be a, um, a reward for good behavior. Yeah, so, and that's the thing. So again, you really have to understand estrogens do not think like us. Like a man will be, he will be, you know, darned if someone spanks him. <laughs> we are men, we are conquerors. That's in our DNA. Estrogens love being dominated. They love being conquered because that's their history. So their DNA got used to invaders coming over and then going, well, we run it now, you do what we say, right? And they go, okay. So that got warped into their DNA of being dominated, being told what to do, and men leading them, all right? So be yeah, spanking them, it sends like a sensation in that whole area, you know, which is pleasure to them. And again, pain is love to estrogens. When we sleep with them, we're giving them pain. They're in pain with it. It's like a massage type of thing, but it is pain. They are receiving pain. Men is just completely just massage, but to them, like it's pain, especially if you're big, you know, you're, you're ramming it in there, like it's pain, you know, you're, 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 you're destroying their stuff. So, they're being dominated. They like being dominated. It's given that whole sensation. So if you spank them, you know, it gives them that type of sensation right there, which, you know, calms down their irrational emotions that they keep bottled up. It gives them this type of pleasure and this pleasing type of thing. And, you know, it makes them better residents. And they get to know that you are in charge. A home that does not have a man in charge is a home that is about to be destroyed. Estrogens cannot lead. They only lead, so you stop them from leading. When they lead, they leave you because they're leading. That's how that goes. They know their position is never to lead a man, ever. It's not, right? So if you enjoyed the video, the thumbs subscribe. Let me know what you guys think down below. I appreciate everybody who tunes in and watches every day. We release a lot of content, um, and I appreciate all the support, man. The more people get to find the videos uh, due to you guys hitting the thumbs up, and uh, and the channel grows because of of the people who watch all right so i appreciate you guys all you special people who lurk and don't comment which is cool <laughs> i'm cool with it all right everyone supports on the cash app and with the membership for exclusive content early release videos and all the videos we've ever done that are all on the membership all right before uh, we had to uh <laughs> before we had to you know simmer it down a little bit you know we don't want to get banned you know so all of that is on the membership all right see you guys later we out <gasps> peace Come me the snowman, ice cold with the hose man. Knee pussy no relation. Then send them back to their boyfriends. Come me the snowman, ice cold with the hose man. Knee pussy no relation. Then send them back to their boyfriends. Leave her chilly without jackets. I'm the snowman. Caught a squad doing trains, we weren't slaves.